Dear friends, in this video, we will see how to create a custom chatbot for your chatbot Android app by using a fine tuned AI models. So, let's first see a demo. So, here I have created a few sample prompts, and this app is on up. So, I'll use some of these prompts to see what is the response I get. So, say for example, this is a bakery data which I am using sample bakery data. So, over here, if I give this as an input, let's see what the output says. Yeah, a bag is dollar three and blah blah. Yeah, so let's see first how we can create this particular app on our own. So first step is to prepare a custom data. So let me quickly show you uh, what does it mean. So I downloaded a sample bakery data from somewhere, and uh, so it has input which is basically questions, and then they are respective output which is basically the response. Okay, so like. Uh, yeah, so this I'll use to fine tune my model, Gemini model, and then when we ask questions pertaining to these questions, mostly the output will uh, be from here. So, say for example, in this, what I the question what I asked was related to baguette. So, let me go back and search for this uh, word. So, yes, yes, it costs dollar three, and so that is there over here, and that's what I think our app has returned. So, yes. Okay, and uh, yeah, so now let's proceed with this. But uh, to fine tune the model, we can't use the JSON data, uh, at least in Gemini. So, what we have to do is to convert this into the CSV format or Excel sheet format. Okay, so that's what I have done. This you can do either by using you know, the Python code or something like that, or you can do it manually. So, I did it manually, it wasn't too much of a problem. It's just hardly uh, 100 uh, plus. Or 102 data points and I just searched for input and just deleted this part and that part and gave a comma and that that was more or less fine for me uh, perfect now let me go to the second step which is basically create fine tune models so let's do this part here in Google AI studio uh, I'll give all these custom data files in my uh, website so I have created this JSON file in Excel file I'll give this so no need to worry so for Google AI studio just go to your AI studio .com and yeah over here uh, first step is let's tune a model okay so just go here tune a model and here you can either create a structure uh, prompt or we already have the data right so we can just directly import it so either it will directly redirect to you you to your google sheet or otherwise you can just drag and drop and that should also work let's see so it may take a while over here so i'll pause the video uh, perfect so as I told like it may take a while so just wait and once done this then you have to map this column so this is input output so this is an input column okay and this is an output column and your name also we have given accordingly and use the first row as header so better like we don't that is not the data and import 102 uh, examples so that's what we imported here just a preview of one of the uh, data and not the complete data so no need to worry about it. So instead of bakery data, what I can say is probably bakery Android app. Okay, and description you can give this is fine tune model for creating a custom chatbot for my bakery business. You can uh, give anything; it doesn't matter. And as of now, it gives just uh, Gemini 1.5 option. Uh, but yeah, you can. Uh, if in future if you get small options you can always select those and there are epochs and uh, all those things i recommend to leave it default otherwise yeah i won't get into the details but you can read over here and once you click on create it will get into the queue so this is on queue so i have a uh, previous uh, models also i have fine tuned model but yeah so it is still in the queue it is still not completely tuned it will take a bit of time but in the meantime we can proceed further and this is the tune model what we have to use in our android phone so the steps is and give the access of the model to the API key. So this step is important. Don't miss this out. So what we have to do is just if you scroll below, once this model is tuned, it will give you this pop-up option where you can give access to your API keys. So let's now get into the API key. So I'll go here. So I've already created an API key long back. So I will reuse this one and uh, in the demo project. So uh, yeah, I'll just copy this and don't use mine anyway. I'll remove this after this. Uh, recording uh, it won't work but yeah you, you can create a new api key in a particular project or do accordingly 
I'll go back to my tune model and here this one. So this is still tuning. Once this tuning is done, it may take four or five minutes. Then it will give you this option. Don't forget to do that. I will come back to this one again. So I'll just keep a note of if I key somewhere for now. If I key. Okay. Now let's create a chatbot Android app. So as I showed the demo, I already created this. But for this demo, I'll create a new project. Okay. A new project. And I'll name this probably as a bakery chatbot custom app. Okay, you can name this anything. And also things you can set as per your preference, but I'm just keeping API to it as a minimum. And we'll be using Java code. So let the environment get created. So yeah, it may take a while. And we'll refer to our previous code uh, very frequently, uh, back and forth between these two, because I won't redo the all the coding uh, again. In the meantime, when this is uh, recreating, I'm just going back here to see how my tuning is going on. So it's still three minutes are left, so we have to wait over here. So let me go back here and I can probably start with at least the manifest file. In manifest file, the only thing I have to do is I have to give one permission, which is internet, nothing else. I'm just surprised why it is not popping up. Probably I may have to wait for a while. Yeah, no, it is seems like internet is coming. So internet, yes. This is the option I wanted and then backslash. So this is about this one. Now we have to also include few of the dependencies in our Gradle file and a product uh, UML file. So what I'll do is I'll again go back to my previous one and from here I'll just copy. I think I need for Guava, uh, Unity AI. And I'm not sure if I really need this, but still I just add that as well. So I'll just control C and I'll come back here and I don't think it has to be in that order. It can be anywhere because it's anywhere a client kind of yeah classic. So these are the versions, and then we'll have to add the respective libraries. So and let's see control V. So why these are grid orders? Because these are not used in the Gradle file, so we'll use them. We'll go back to the Gradle file and we'll just copy Control C, Control V, and last one is Guava. So what I'm doing right now is if I go back to the HTML file, I'm using the latest versions which I know as of now. But if you have a later versions, I always recommend it to use that. Yeah, so once syncing is done, we can proceed further. So don't forget to click on sync now. So since I clicked, so there is no sync now options coming anymore. And now let's complete the layout part quickly. Okay, so in layout part, again, I think I can just copy paste this part of the code as it is because it's it's a linear layout, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so I'll just go to this mode and yes, I got everything created as it is perfect. So in my main activity dot Java uh, over here also. Okay, this is giving error, but no need to worry. Anyway, we'll just replace it with the uh, from this side, and more or less. So what I'll do is I'll just probably copy paste the code from here, and I may have to update few things here and there, but more or less it should work fine. Yeah. So I updated the code, but here I will have to update uh, my API key and the model name. This I created for demo purpose, so I'll have to create this model name as well. So let's go back to our uh, this window and model name is here, so that we can get right away. And if I come here, then I can just replace the model name as it is for now. And apart from model name, what I'll need is the API key. So for that, again, I have to go here. Yeah, this is what I was saying. See, see this is done. Uh, so I can just close it and don't forget to give this access. So here it will ask for which project. So demo project is what I have selected. So give the access to this particular uh, demo project. So now any API uh, key is what we are using over here from that particular project. We have access to my fine tune model. Okay, so I think I copied this. API key over here. I will just take from here and go back to my Android Studio and paste it over here. I think that's all more or less. Let me run this code and see how it uh, comes up. 
So uh, in the meantime, I just quickly explain in the core what it is happening. So in the own kit method, we are just putting everything together, and then in the uh, send button on uh, this on click listener, we are just calling the method get response for the query. Okay, so this is still coming up the new app which I have just you now created with the name of Battery uh, Chatbot Custom App. So we'll see the demo uh, shortly, but let me just quickly run through the code. So in the code, uh, yeah, in the get response, we are passing the query whatever the user has entered, and based on that query, we are forming the content, and then call this content uh, we are sending it for response, and then we are calling the future call back. And once it succeeds, it will just uh, return it uh, in the result text format, and which it will get printed in the text. We are uh, running it in run UI thread because in futures uh, listenable future we can't uh, call the uh, UI part. Okay. So that's all. Code perspective is pretty much simple and straightforward. So let's see how it happens. So this has come up. So let's rerun that prompt from here, probably. Or let's rerun some other prompt. So I have got, typed already a few of these prompts to do quickly in this particular demo. So let's see how it works. Or if it works also. Yes. We have gluten free cake for. Uh, so, yeah. so the question was Do you have gluten free cake? And what's the cost of chocolate cake? If I can go back to my this one, so it says dollar twenty. So let me search with cake. Cake is no so cake is dollar eight. So why it says dollar twenty? Okay, so let me quickly verify. So it's, it still says dollar twenty. So let me do one thing. Let me search with twenty. Uh, there must be something with uh, twenty. Wait, ah, uh, see, gluten free cake starts at dollar twenty. So that's a wonderful uh, answer, right? Uh, yeah. And so say for example, I can now ask about this one. Uh, how much is Oat milk. Okay, I'll just type a custom uh, prompt here. I heard you do not keep oat milk, right? If you have it, then let me know the price. Let's see what it uh, responds for this particular prompt. Yes, oat milk is okay. I wanted to have it as a two separate. Uh, uh, okay, I'll do one thing. I'll just. I want to get the answer of the first one. So let's see what it says. We of oat milk is zero point five uh, extra. Uh, perfect. So this is all I wanted to show you in this demo. Uh, so this code and all I'll share in you on my website so you can refer to that and uh, I'll also share this uh, custom uh, data for you to look at it. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you.